As the investigators work, they discover a fog of confusion surrounding TCAS. When it was introduced 20 years before, there had been a fatal omission. Descend flight level 350, expedite. No I one said what should happen if there was a conflict between what TCAS was saying and what the controller was saying. It says climb. There is no hard and fast rule to guide the pilots. He is guiding us down. Increase. Pilots in the west Increase. are taught to obey TCAS. Dill Moon, Dill Moon 600, TCAS descent. In the rest of the world, it was anyone's guess. We're not accustomed to not trusting controllers. In civil aviation, there were lots of situations when pilots didn't follow instructions of the controller, and that led to plane crashes or other accidents. The potential for a terrible accident was there, and a year and a half before the collision over Uberlingen, it nearly happened. Over Japan, two jumbo jets with 677 people aboard came so close that they filled each other's windscreens. The violent avoidance maneuver caused 100 people to be injured, some of them seriously. This was seconds away from being the worst plane crash in aviation history, because a pilot had listened to the controller instead of his TCAS. It should have served as a warning to everyone. Yet from ICAO, the International Civil Aviation Organization, there was only silence. ICAO is responsible for drawing up the rules of commercial aviation. If ICAO had carried out a detailed investigation of the incident in Japan and made recommendations that led to changes in procedures, this probably would not have happened. The Japanese government immediately asked for ICAO's guidance after their near miss. But unfortunately, ICAO only acted on the request 18 months later, after the collision over Uberlingen. German investigators say that ICAO's vagueness on TCAS was one reason for the Uberlingen disaster. Perhaps the ICAO procedures and standards, but in particular operating procedures for airborne collision avoidance, were somewhat ambiguous or open to interpretation. The Japanese incident was not the only warning ICAO received. In the two years before the Uberlingen collision, four other near misses occurred over Europe alone because one set of pilots obeyed air traffic control instead of their TCAS. If I have to summarize the advice that we gave the world, if a warning comes from ACAS, pilots Descent. should immediately follow it at all times with the benefit of hindsight, you always ask yourself, could we have done more? And an accident is a wake-up call for everybody.